What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Donnell. We're here in the couches in the Ground Sound Studio. I'm here with uh, Amy Roulet, most famous country artist here. How are you feeling today, Amy? Good. How are you? I'm excited to be here. Yeah, well, started music when I was seven years old. Um, not really, not many people in my family like did music, so it was kind of a little strange that I went on this little binge to like want to always go into the studios and stuff. Like at seven years old, like I was doing that, like recording on tape recorders and all that good stuff. So by the time I turned 12 years old, basically, <laughs> my mom moved me to Atlanta, Georgia, and then that like literally like was the start of my like complete career. So I started to become a songwriter for you know a lot of major artists that was coming in and out of the town. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just a blast to do. And it was really good and fun and easy. So I felt like if I just continue to like, just work on my craft, I'll get better and better each and every, it, it shouldn't be a problem that this could be a career for me. That's pretty dope. I mean, I remember when, uh, this is a little history, I know some people don't know, but we're actually really good friends. And uh, we met at, at high school. Yeah, I remember your brother was like, so long story short, her brother, a year, I got there as a freshman, he was graduating. I was like, yeah, my sister's coming up, so you gotta help her out, you know, show the ropes or whatever. And I was like, okay, whatever. Literally, a whole year later, yeah, he was like literally telling me, hey, look out for her. And so that's that's what, pretty much how we you know got here today. Um, but could you just talk about just uh, I don't know what kind of struggles you might have gone through and um, just you know some of the people you've worked with in the past? Well, first of all, we kicked it like we always kicked it. Every time we were in class, he had his little guitar, <laughs> and I had my vocals. We would be behind us. We would be in the room just making a whole show for the whole class. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> So we knew what we were destined to do, but I'm sorry, what was your question? <laughs> uh, just talk, talk to us about you know, uh, how, how difficult it was in the industry, what struggles you might came across. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, starting off as a woman in the industry, it's extremely tough to kind of like um, prove yourself and be, am I supposed to be looking to the camera or no? Okay. <laughs> Like, I'm supposed to be, like, proving myself in the music industry as a woman. So it's 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 really tough because you have to get these men and these big executives and uh, DJs and radio DJs and all these people to actually take you serious as an artist. Um, and then as a black woman doing country music, it's 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 been very delightful, actually, but... Um, to maneuver around in a field that is not really tapped on as a black female artist. People that are of my race doesn't understand, mostly. But I feel like I'm creating this lane just so I can get people to understand like music is music, no matter how much, um, diff how different it is, if you like it, if it's something that you can move to and kind of like, um, you know, feel, feel good about or get some type of vibes uh, throughout the song, then it shouldn't matter. You, just, you, you, you know, you take that and you, you use those um, faults in your life and then you just, you, you create your own lane out of it. So the hard part is like just staying your exact lane and um, not really letting people tell you what you can't do just because of who you are. Um, but but just like continuing to, to do it because I've been doing that since like I said I was like seven but 18 years old was when I got signed to a major label so as a songwriter so what's this is like 10 20 years in the making yeah the, you know what I think it's only 10 by the way <laughs> but anyway yeah it's like uh, <laughs> but no nah, like it's, it's just yeah so that's that's my struggle yeah, that's that's really that's really dope to just hear that that side of that. Um, you talked about you know being a, on a label and stuff. Do you think, or I won't even ask that question. What, what what suggestions or what advice would you give to other black female country artists who are coming up? You know, how would you kind of help them maneuver in the industry and maybe give them some kind of encouragement? Well. Um D disclosure, I am not a um, mentor or 
anything like that. But I, I will tell you that you're a counselor or, or mother. So I just want to make sure that's, yeah. Um, <laughs> so no one, you know, this is good advice, but don't don't take it seriously. But anyway, I'm just just wanted to tell you that, like, like I said, no matter what people say about you, just be you. Um, kind of go deep within. Don't lose what you you already have because um, you know whatever that root is that you have in your your soul of whatever your favorite song or sound might be. Keep that and then just make your own twist, your country twist on that. And if you were raised up on country, um, just figure out a way to be authentic because that's the, basically this field is very family, very loving, very church, very like, just all in it together, in it to win it, authentic. So um, just the basics of to be a, a country girl. Yeah, be you. That's the best way you can put it. I mean, um, uh, and just to go back on, um, you know, you were talking about being signed to a label at a young age. Was that was that exciting for you? Was it difficult? Just take us through that that journey and um, how 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 you were able to deal with that. Well, it was exciting at the time because um, you know I'm of course a rising artist songwriter that wants to you know make it in the music industry in the world so you know that first initial um signing was like the, it was just like i made it <laughs> i i can't say because only reason why i'm not gonna say it's it's probably in my bio somewhere in online but I, because I was going to say, also, it, it, you know, people trap you in these type of contracts. And you get trapped thinking that, you know, life is about to be good on the other side. However, you just really got to make sure, um, you know, what you're signing and the out clause that's inside of it. Making sure that you have everything that you want protected inside of the contract. That was something I didn't think of when I was 17, 18, of course. But, um yeah, so I kind of didn't see the bright side of the label sometimes, like like the the financial part, because <laughs> you always owe them back. But you know, it was a good learning experience, and because of that, now I know how to go about another deal. So yeah. All right. So is there any other uh, maybe some new projects that you're working on, or let's talk about your single that just dropped? Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. I don't want to spoil the beat. <laughs> Yeah, I got a new EP. It's it's debuted. Um, it's called uh, Music Roulette, um, based off my name, Amy Roulette. Roulette means feeling very good, so that's pretty cool. And um, so, music is feeling very good, is the name of my EP. And we have a special guest that's going to be hosting the EP, and I am so excited. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be so. It's gonna, you know what? I'm like, whoo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I needed that, cause you know, when you coming out by yourself, you know, it's, it's it's hard. But you know, if they hear somebody else's name, they're like, oh, I don't know her, but I want to hear him, what he did on this record. And you know, um, I appreciate the fact that I was given the chance um, to even be allowed to host my. But anyway, so it's gonna be exciting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's a lot to come. There's a lot in store. Um, no, that's great. I can't wait. I'm, I'm excited. Um, a lot of people that I know are excited. You know, we're excited here at Ground Sounds. Um, is there any last, I don't know, words or advice or anything you want to say to the people out there? Amy Roulay, A-M-I-E-R-U-L-A-Y. You can visit me on Instagram. Um, I got a Facebook coming. YouTube, TikTok. I'm going to start doing Twitch soon. So Amy Roulay, Amy Roulay, Amy Roulay. Twitter, Snapchat. And then... Um, also, thank you guys so much. I really like this setup uh, at Ground Sounds. This is really cool. And if you guys, you want to you wanna tune in, you better tune in to Ground Sounds. You hear me? This is Amy Roulette, and I'm here with Ground Sounds. Perfect for you.